Uh, this time I will show you how did that he uh, teach those Muslims false teaching and because they don't know everybody shaking his head. Let us see. Whoever will associate anyone with Allah, فَقَدْ حَرَّمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ الْجَنَّةِ Allah will forbid him paradise. No heaven for him. وَمَا وَهُ النَّارِ And the fire of hell will be the dwelling place. So the one who do associate God with God, he will go to hell guaranteed. And this is what, this is what uh, uh, the Quran is saying. So those who will associate God with God, they will go to hell guaranteed. Now let us see what the Quran is saying about that. Surah 4 verse 48, this is many, there is many surahs in the Quran about this uh, uh, situation, that the one who associate God with God, Allah forgive not that partner should be set up with him. Very clear. So if you take God with God, if you associate God with God, you are going to go to hell. Now, did Abraham, did Abraham took God with God? Yes, he did. Abraham, he worshipped the sun, the stars, the moon, looking for his God. Now, let us read this and see how, how Quran, you know, Quran can't be written by a smart person. Listen guys, this is Abraham, this is Surah, this is Surah, 6, verse number 73. Abraham is saying to his dad, you are taking idols for gods? You are lost. You are in error. So Abraham already he knew that he should not take idols as God. And they are in error. But look what, 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 what Abraham is doing after. Look at this. <laughs> so also we did show Abraham the power and the laws of the heavens and the earth that he might with understanding have a, 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 you know to be certain okay did you let us see if he did this is surah, this is verse number 75 let us go to verse number uh, 76 and we see if Allah has really showed him the, the, the law and make him understand he did not you, you make him confused because this verse is coming before this verse when he when the night covered him who Abraham he saw the star a star he said this is my Lord oops Abraham found his Lord he is he is telling his daddy you know, you are wrong, you are worshipping idols, but he is looking for a different Lord too. He is worshipping stars now. But when the set, when it is set, he said, I love not those who set. Guys, stars first don't set. Okay? Now I accept Abraham not to understand that stars don't set and don't raise, but I don't understand God, Allah, agreeing with him that the stars do set and this is the proof that the star cannot be God because if this is the proof the stars don't set you see the stars because the sunlight will cover them and will not make you able to be to see them but they are there Allah is agreeing with Abraham and Abraham changing his mind for no reason except he found out that the sun the star set when the star don't set let us continue when he saw the moon rising in splendor he said this is my lord and first he worshiped a star then now he's worshiping the moon but when the moon said he said useless my lord guide me but the verse we saw before verse number uh, you know 75 70, you know 74 it says Allah showed him the law and make him understand until now we see him not understanding yet and the verse before even Abraham is saying to his dad worshiping idols is wrong but he is worshiping stars <laughs> let us continue so when he saw the sun 
ray rising in his splendor he said this is my lord man this guy he is worshiping anything is big and what he said in here you will see something really uh, very weird he's saying and this is akbar not the greatest in arabic it's akbar look in here Akbar. So he is looking by size. Abraham is looking for God by size. The one is more fat, the one I worship him. Akbar. In the same verse, even the same name is attached to the name of God, Allah. So Allah is Akbar, sun is Akbar, moon is Akbar, and star is Akbar. Akbar as a size. Because you know, uh, 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 Abraham he didn't see from the sun except the size star is far so far looks so small then the moon look bigger this is Akbar then the sun look bigger this is big so it's not about the greatest as they translate to you in Arabic in, in English it is Akbar Akbar in Arabic mean bigger in Arabic the word the greatest mean Azam Azim Azam and this word even exists in the Quran anyway not the topic let us continue so Abraham he worshiped three three different kind of gods star moon sun and in here guys we will see that God Allah the God of Islam he don't know even that the sun is a star because if you said already that he did worship the sun why you are saying he, he when he saw this a star well the sun is a star he didn't tell us what star even you know how come this is star only when there is billions of stars Allah is not considering the sun as a star otherwise you know he will never mention the sun as sun by itself without mentioning the stars as by name name the star because stars have names even for the old ancient people they used to give names for stars because they used to use the stars as, as as a GPS system for us now so it's not useless really as Abraham he said that stars is useless no it's not useless always ancient people they use them for directions and you can do your own search and you will see that and look at this now in verse number 78 when he saw the sun ra rising you know he worshiped the, 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 the sun and then when the sun set when the sun set what he said he said oh people I am indeed free from your guilt your guilt it's you who's saying that because your father he was worshiping idols not stars what people it is you who is looking for the stars you are the one who saw the star you said this is my God now it's your people this man is mentally sick he is putting his sin in other you are the one who created this religion you are the one who saw the star who said oh this is my God you are the one who saw the moon you said oh this is my God you are the one who said the, the sun you said this is my God not your people the surahs did not mention even your people suddenly he put it in his people and he say oh I am free from your guilt of what of giving partners of Allah oops this is mean you knew about Allah so why you are worshiping and looking for stars and Sun and etc if you knew who is Allah why Abraham was doing that you knew or you didn't know and by the way and here there's a huge mistake Do you know what because if you read the verse you will see this is my Lord when he saw the Sun this is my Lord he is not saying this is the Lord one of the Lords because if he worship Allah with God with, 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 with a star it's mean he have Lords in here he's saying this is my Lord it's mean he believe in one God and the God was a Sun one God the God was was the moon this is my Lord the moon you see it and he did the same for the star when he saw the star he said this is my Lord one Lord so he was not associating gods he worshiped only one God at a time moon stars Sun then suddenly he's he, he knew who's Allah 
and suddenly it is the one who is doing that it is his people not him when all the verses insist that this is him and he's saying I never shall shall I give partners of Allah oops so why you did what happened what happened give me a reason because Allah never said Allah never show even and how you heard about Allah and if you heard about Allah and you know about Allah why you did worship pagans and again if you do so according to the surah we, we, we did mention the Quran says the one who worship partners with God he will go to hell 